Today's message is about attack. About attack. Um, we are attacked from every direction, but we are not crushed. We are at loss at what to do, but never in despair. We are persecuted, but never abandoned by God. We are knocked down, but not dead yet. <clears throat> and I'd like to demonstrate that with a few objects this evening. So the first one, um, you know, we, we were attacked from every direction and every side. That um, it could be a number of different things. Um, you know, from sickness to uh, um, what's happening in the world today um, and what we see all over the news. And, and you know, you can be attacked physically, uh, but, you know, what do we do? We get, we get attacked, we run to the store, get some stuff, pour it in there, get you a swig of it, a little later or whatever. You're attacked or you have that come up on you and it's unexpected. So what do you do? Run the store and get something else. Open that up, pour a little bit in, get a little squig of that. Shortly, what have you, it's still there and, and, and it's just attacking you and you're <coughs> like that in my throat, you know? So what do we do? We run out and we get some drops and pop one in our mouth, or several of them, and get that candy in our mouth. When, you know, the whole time we're being attacked uh, um, physically, spiritually, mentally, and, and there's, there's so many attacks that we don't even really realize that we are getting, right? Yeah, there's so many attacks we're getting. <clears throat> okay, what if I say that we're uh, attacked by ungodly music? ungodly music right how many times have, uh, have we heard someone that uh, at um, you know it's listen to that death metal and and you don't really know what the words that are coming out of there you know that's attack spiritually folks that's attack spiritually okay here's another attack there's eight different ways that we don't even really realize it news and social media news and social media uh, <clears throat> so, you know, we, we see the, the, the big tack, uh, the ungodly music, or, or um, uh, money. How about that? Money and possessions. You know, you hear that ungodly music, and uh, then it comes along to where, you know, you, you see it on the news, and you see it here on TV that everybody's got to run around with a great big car, a nice big fancy home. And then what do we do? We, we, we run out there and try to get it ourselves. We work so much all the time, you know, work all the time trying to get that the possessions of money, okay? What about ungodly movies? Okay, what about ungodly movies? How many folks go out there and you watch a movie and it has nothing to do with uh, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control? The fruits of the Spirit has nothing to do with that. You know, but we still take it in. Oh, it's not harming us. It's not doing nothing. Oh, it's just a movie when it's unlocking that or breaking that door in for the devil to come in there. Okay. But what about what about uh, the fear of offending someone? Okay. Proverbs twenty nine says, "Fear God and not man." But we do uh, I'm scared to tell the truth anymore because you're afraid going to offend somebody. Okay. What well, what about uh, entitlement? You know, it seems like uh, everybody thinks that they're entitled to this, to that, to this, to that. You know, um, that, that's, that's an attack on us human beings a, as a whole, all over this world. Okay, what about, what about injustice? What about injustice? We see it all the time. Uh, if you watch news or, or social media, you know, it's, well, why ain't they doing this or that? And why is this and that? And you know, we're getting attacked, folks, and you and they're not even physically touching us. They're not even physically touching. When I say they, I don't really know who they are, except for uh, uh, where the scripture talks about you're not fighting against flesh and blood. You're fighting against uh, principalities and powers and the rulers of the dark space or in in the heavenly realms. Uh, you know. So it's there. They are actually attacking us. 
and we don't even really realize that. But you know what? We think it's all just in, uh, um, um, in entertainment or, or just the way the world is, and we just keep going on about it. You know, when, 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 the, when the, the sickness or attack comes on our health, what do we do? We run out there and go get the, um, some medicine and get another different medicine. And if that ain't working, you go get the other medicine. And then you have a big old slew of medicines. But why aren't we, folks? Why aren't we getting the medicine of God in us? Again, there's a medicine I was just talking about. It. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. <clears throat> okay? The eighth one, uh, the final one, selfishness. Being selfish is attack against us. We don't even have no idea that that's what's going on. But you know what? The enemy does. The enemy knows that he's attacking family. He's attacking your peace. He's stealing your peace. Okay? Stealing your peace. When, uh, what's, what's, what's it say in, in Philippians 4.8? Uh, Philippians 4, 8. Okay, it says, Now, brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts. Fix your thoughts. Not on godly music, not on news, not on social media, not on ungodly movies, um, not on the money and possessions and, and physical things, uh, any entitlement or injustice or selfishness. You fix your thoughts on what is good, in truth and honorable and right and pure, lovely and admirable. Think about that. Excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting it into practice, folks. Keep putting it into practice. So we are being attacked from every side and we don't even see it. We don't even see it. But when we notice it in our lives physically, we do something about it. We do something about it. So just remember, you're being attacked and you're not really doing nothing about it if you ain't getting your life in order and thinking about the good and honorable and, and what is pleasing to God. You're getting attacked and you don't even know it. You're getting